Hi everyone, in a few minutes, we will go over some helpful tips to get you familiar with Spoke. Spoke is a powerful web-based texting platform that allows us to do rapid outreach to recruit for events, get out the vote, and build our base. When texting with Spoke, we have two goals, to mobilize our contacts to action and to log data about the responses you get. You can send these texts on a phone, tablet, or computer. Your personal number will not be shared with the voters you are texting. Before texting, begin by checking the campaign's texting guide and any Slack announcements from the shift leaders. Join a campaign by looking at the pinned items in the Slack channel. To find pinned posts on a laptop, click on the push pin icon at the top of the channel to see pinned posts on the right side of your screen. To find pinned posts on a mobile device, tap the name of the channel and find pinned. Click the join link in the pinned post and log into Spoke. If this is your first time texting with WFP, you can create an account. Make sure to use the same email that you use to sign up for Slack. Once you are logged into Spoke, you will see your texting campaign. Click on Start Texting to enter the texting screen. Once in the texting screen, the initial text that you will send is preloaded. To begin, Send messages by clicking the button on the lower left-hand side of the screen. Send all of your initial messages before fielding your replies. All you need to do is click the Enter button. After you send your initial text, you will be assigned around a batch of 500 texts to start. You can go back to your Spoke home screen where you will see replies coming in. To reply, click on the Respond button. There will also be a number in a red circle on the respond button indicating how many voters messaged you back. Once you hit respond, you will be taken back to the texting screen to send replies. Here is where you will be able to choose a survey response and collect data from the voter. Depending on the response, you will take action. Replies will fall into four categories which are sometimes called the priority of responses. One, folks will ask to be opted out of texting, for which you'll click the opt out button. Two, folks will share information to update their profile, like that we have the wrong number or that they can't vote. For those, you'll tag and save the information and then send a response. Three, folks will answer the question you'll send a survey response. Four, folks will ask a different question or offer a different response. You'll select an other response. You will be able to choose from numerous survey responses located in the All Responses drop-down menu. To find a response quickly, you can use Control and F or Command and F, depending if you're using Windows or Apple, to search for a keyword in the All Responses drop-down menu. Here are some examples. Opt-out. We use the opt-out feature as we are legally required to remove cell phone numbers from our database when voters ask to be removed. So if someone says opt-out, stop, don't text me anymore, unsubscribe, or etc., we want to opt them out. We do not opt-out folks who do not ask to be removed from our list. We have other ways of dealing with a variety of responses, such as voters for whom we have the wrong info for, for those we use tags, for non-supporters and trolls, we use survey responses that will make sure we will not follow up with them in this campaign. Responses that express frustration, like these texts are annoying, we have an other response for those types of responses, which apologizes and gives more context for why we are texting them. Tags, be sure to use the tags as necessary. If you come across a wrong number, a Spanish reply, or a situation that has a correlating tag, click the tag, save the tag, and send the appropriate response. For a wrong person or a wrong number, you select the wrong number tag. Click save tags and send the wrong number canned response which is located under the All Other Responses. 
survey responses. When a voter answers the question at hand, yes, no, maybe, you'll want to send a survey response to log their answer to the question and send the scripted response for that answer. When we send a survey response, the response is at the top of the list in the All Responses drop-down menu. We are both logging the information in our system and sending a scripted response to the voter. Let's look at a few of our most common survey responses. One, if we determine that a voter supports another candidate or political view, we select and send the non-supporter response. This script ends the conversation and by sending the survey response, we ensure that we have logged this voter as a non-supporter so that we will not follow up with them again in this campaign. Examples of when we could use the non-supporter response include, I'm supporting the other candidate, MAGA, I don't vote for Democrats, and other phrases that are critical of the candidate, Democrats, or the left in general. Two, if a voter responds with a vague no and gives no further information, we use the no vague response. This script that accompanies the no vague response gives a second case for support and engages with the voter to clarify their position. Three, if a voter indicates that they need more general information before making a decision, the undecided response provides a second case for support and further engagement. Four, if a voter indicates that they do support our candidate, make sure to select and send the yes or vote yes survey response so that we log the information that this voter is a supporter. However, if the voter provides more information such as yes and I already voted or yes and I'm waiting for my mail-in ballot, please check the text team FAQ for more information about coding these conversations. Five, if a voter is trolling, taking you off topic and will not answer the question after some engagement, select and send the refuses to answer response to end the conversation. Escalate. If you receive a response that you don't know how to answer, follow these steps. Check the other responses in spoke and check the texting team FAQ. Once you've done all of the above and you still can't find the answer, select the help needed tag and click save tags, then skip. This will post a message in Slack and a moderator will answer your question as soon as they can. Some examples of escalation. The voter asked a question that you can't find an answer to in the other responses or FAQ. The voter has threatened to commit a violent act or the voter has demanded to talk to a staff member. When you finish tending to responses, check the texting channel in Slack to find moderator comments on the conversations that you tagged help needed and to complete those responses to voters. You can find these comments quickly by clicking threads at the top of your left toolbar. Finally, you can expect to hear from one of our volunteer guides sometime during your shift. They will provide feedback on your texting so far and some tips on how you can level up to reply specialist and text leader. This feedback will appear on your spoke assignment screen after a guide has completed their review. When you're done for the day, make sure to let the moderators know in your channel with a comment. This way, unattended replies can be reassigned to a text leader. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.